Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kerry Arth, and this is another little gaming discussion type video. And basically this time I want to talk about games that you always come back to. Like it doesn't matter how old they are when you first played them, how many hours you've got in them, how many how many times you've completed me. them. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> or anything like that. I'm talking stuff where you sit down, you don't know what to play, and without even thinking about it, you load up this game. And there's a couple of those games for me. I've, I've got a couple of them. The big one, as you can probably tell uh, from the background of this video, is Civilization V and all its expansions. Gods and Kings being the best one, but you know, that is, it had quite a lot of work put into it. It was a little bit bare, I felt, at release. Um, especially compared to previous efforts, but as time went on, it became what can only be described for me as like a truly exceptional game. Because without wishing to sound like I'm boasting, I play a lot of games. I don't know why that would be boasting, but some people might view it as such. It's not meant to be. I play a lot of games. Uh, over the years, I've yes, hello, Solomon. Uh, go away. Um, <laughs> I've played a lot and a lot of titles. So many titles. But there's very few titles where I will actively want to go back. Like, after my initial time with the game, I'll sit there and think, I could go back and play that again right now. Civ is one of those games. It's one of those where I dabbled in previous titles, but not really paid that much attention to them. I, I was no expert. I just had vague memories of playing the previous Civ games in one way or another. Alpha Centauri was the game that I spent the most time in that was Sid Meier's related. Or Sid Meier's Pirates, actually thinking about it, which I haven't played for years. But Civ V hooked me almost straight away. And I I really loved playing this game to the point where even now, even with like the wealth of new titles that are coming out, even with some really good games being released, like if you look at like Endless Legend. That is a very good game. In a way, it's quite Civ-like. But I don't play it. I play Civ instead. And there's there's many strategy games that are exactly like that. I mean, Sins of a Solar Empire used to be my go-to. But Civ overtook that really quite, quite drastically. It would be a case of, I've got a couple of hours to spare. I don't fancy anything that's going to tax my brain too much. You know, I Thou shalt not muzzle the ark. I will not muzzle the ox. You know, I didn't want to sit there and play some sort of first-person shooter or like grand, I guess, grand strategy in a way. Like paradox titles were never a big thing for me. I didn't want to have to sit there and you know quickly react to stuff. You know, I didn't want the mouse going all over the screen. Oh god, that guy's about to kill me! Or God forbid, uh, competitive Overwatch, for instance. You know, I didn't want to deal with anything like that. I just wanted a nice, relaxing game. And Sins of a Solar Empire used to be that game for me, but Civ overtook it. Overtook that as well. Like, it's always Civ. I always end up coming back to Civ in some way or another. And the crazy thing is that I never got into mods. Like, I never got into scenarios. Really, my my Civ experience is not brilliant. Um, because I haven't... I haven't, like, expanded on it. You know, I haven't massively kind of... I haven't done loads and loads of stuff in terms of... in terms of modding it, in terms of playing scenarios, in terms of even playing online that much. I, I don't do multiplayer games in this all, all that often. When I do, it's only with, you know, a couple of friends who I know, and, you know, we sit in... we sit in Discord, we sit in Skype, we sit in TeamSpeak, and we just play the game. Most of my experience in Civ has actually been alone. Because it's a game where you can just, I guess, get lost. And not really... You know, you, you do have to pay attention, obviously, but... You're not stressing. You're not flinging your cursor across the screen. You're not desperately hoping that the guy that you see over there is going to murder you, or that, you know, something is going to go horribly wrong. You're not constantly on the verge of a massive bout of combat or you know you don't have the pressure of like competitive play in sip i mean you can get that if you want you can go online you can ramp the difficulty up but if you just want to noodle about in a game you know if you if you want to 
I guess, retread familiar ground that is the, the same as stuff you've done before, admittedly, but you're still not bored of it, and that's the key. Then, I mean, Civ, for me, wins out every single time. And I'm struggling to think of another game which is, like, the go-to relaxing game. Like if I want to play something that I have a kind of an emotional connection to, that I you know I want to I want to go on a journey, then I'll play it. Well, I can play something like Journey um, or Transistor, for instance. If I want like a really good story-driven experience that I already know but still find really enjoyable. Um, but if I want to do something competitive, then I'll play maybe Overwatch or I might even load up GTA 5 and do something with that. But if I want to... If I just want to play you without use the right pressure... Shut up. <laughs> like, play without pressure, without stress, without worry. Just, you know, tread familiar ground in, in a way that relaxes me, then Civ wins every single time. Now, there are other games that I go back to. Like uh, Warhammer 40k Space Split, Warhammer 40k Space Marine, which for some reason I tried to call Spork Momo. Uh, I go back to that quite a lot. The Exterminatus mode is really, really fun, and uh, it's one of the few games I'm actually quite good at because there's nothing like being good at a game that no one else plays. Um, Retribution as well. I tend to go back to a fair amount. Banished is another game where I'll quite often load that up and just mess about. I'm terrible at the game. Even, even after God knows how many hours of play, I'm still absolutely dreadful. Um, it's true, I do like shiny things. But for for just kind of pure, relaxed, no worries, carefree gaming, Civ 5 always wins. It always wins. Like, there's, there's no other game I can think of where I can sit down not just, no not just look forward to playing it, but know that I'm not going to get stressed. I'm not going to get irritated. I'm not going to get frustrated or annoyed. I know that at the very least, I will be <laughs> distracted. Like, at the very least, I'll be distracted. And at its best, it's, you know, fully engaging and interesting. Oh lord, I do like playing in Babylon. Uh, <laughs> let's have an academy. There's nothing on that tile anyway. Um, but yeah, I d I'm curious though because I, I I go for this because it's it de-stresses, it relaxes, it it's interesting without being overwhelming, it's familiar without being boring. But what game do you go to? Like, what is your go-to de-stress? Not distress, de-stress. Um, I want to relax. I want to play something that I'm familiar with. You know, I want to play something that I know I'll enjoy without having to put too much effort in. What game is that for you? I mean, do you tend to go for things like survival games or exploration games even? Do you tend to go for just playing, you know, maybe, maybe first-person shooters, but like co-op first-person shooters? How big a deal is multiplayer to you for this kind of thing? I know some people that, you know, they're, if they're going to play a game, they want to play with other people. Even if they're in it to relax and just chill out, they want to play with other people. I prefer gaming alone to fully relax. But is that an integral part of it for you? Let me know in the comments. It'd be interesting to see what your go-to game is. What that title is that you always end up returning to, no matter what happens. And why it is that you return to it. I mean, for me, Civ's just a great game. Civ Five is a really, really good game. It's interesting. The different civilizations play differently. You're never going to have the same thing happen every time. But at the same time, it's not like a strain on your heart. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I always read them. That's the whole point of these discussion videos, to find out what you think. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.